So the way to save your images for the web, to view through a web browser, you need to go to File, Save for Web and Devices in order to compress your files to a size that works for the web, which is usually very, very small. So right now, it's saying that if it was a GIF, it would be 849K. We can look at this four up. We can try four different variations and see what the image looks like to us if we like it with the small K size. You can save this image as a GIF. You can save it as a JPEG, as a ping. It's your choice. Um, if the client has asked you to, you know, to save it a specific way or you know that you, know, you want to have everything as a GIF, you can also choose presets, which they're up here. If you click on the preset and you drag up, you will see that there are several different kinds of presets. So if, say, your boss tells you, I want you to save it as a ping 8128 jithered, you would look for that one. You say ping 128. You'd wait. There it is. That's the one. And then what you'll need to do is hit the save button, which is right down here. And you want to save it, whatever name you want, save it in the web folder, and click save. It will bring you back to the original image, which is a separate image from what you just did. So just be aware, once you do save for web and devices, it's like saying save as. So now you have two images. You have the one for the web, and you have this image, your original image, that is still 4.29 megs.